everyone, Lindsay here, and today I'm going to be reviewing HelloFresh with you. I'm going to let you know my pros, my cons, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to let you know if I am repurchasing HelloFresh or if I'm done with HelloFresh. So um, let me go ahead and let you know the three meals that I went ahead and got from HelloFresh this last week. So the three meals were the perfect penne bake with chicken sausage and kale chorizo, egg, and avocado sandwich with a potato onion hash. And the last but not least is the crispy cheddar frico cheeseburger with caramelized onion jam and roasted broccoli. Okay, so I have a pros and cons list here. So let me go ahead and jump into the pros side with you, share my pros with you, and I'll go ahead and share my cons with you. So some of these pros and cons, they kind of intertwine. So I might start speaking about a pro on, you know, during the pro part, and then you might come back around for the con part. So I just want to let you know that now. So uh, first off, one of the pros is they provide you the recipe. So they're giving you all of these ingredients to make and they're giving you a new recipe to try out. Maybe something you've never tried before, which is super awesome because some of the time I go online, I wanna try something new, I search for different recipes and there's just an abundance of recipes online and I just end up getting overwhelmed and thinking I wanna try something but then never getting around doing it. And so with this, it's like, here's your recipe, here's your ingredients, you have to do it or the food's gonna go bad. So that's great. Um, secondly, they um, give you the food straight to your door, of course, so you don't have to go grocery shopping. And then there's gonna be minimal food waste because they're trying to give you the exact ingredients for your meals. So that's really awesome because some of the time when I'm working, I don't have time to go to the grocery store. And so I end up ordering food out. Like I'll go and pick up food on the way home or I'll make something super simple like ramen or a, um, a frozen meal. And that's not always the best thing for me. So this is really awesome that the food comes straight to my door. Um, third, they're forcing me to try new food recipes that like I would want to try, but maybe I never take the time to try. So for example, with the Cheddar Frigo cheeseburgers, um, like I've never made burgers on the stove top. So that was something that kind of forced me, like, you know, they said to make it on the stove top and I'm like a direction follower, so I made it on the stove top and that was awesome. And so now I'm like, I can make burgers on the stove top all the time. Uh, another thing is the roasted broccoli. I had never um, roasted broccoli in the oven before and it tasted really good and yummy. And so now I'm excited to, you know, incorporate roasted broccoli into my future meals. Um, and the brioche buns, that's something new that like I've never bought to eat at home. Like I may have, I, I know for sure, I've had brioche buns when I go out and about to different restaurants or food places and they're delicious, but I never think, oh, I should buy this and eat this at home. Like I never think that, but now that I've tried it at home, I'm like, why don't I have brioche buns at home to incorporate in my breakfast sandwiches? Come on, or my dinners, you know, because the brioche buns were so, delicious and that's one thing that for sure that I'm going to incorporate in all of, in as many recipes as I can even though it's a lot of carbs you know maybe not in every recipe but more recipes um, another thing is that this is going to be a cheaper option than eating out so for me like the burger uh, recipe that my boyfriend and I made um, that was something kind of similar to like maybe we would go out to a nice burger restaurant and eat and that burger restaurant would cost at least $35 and yeah we're getting french fries there instead of roasted broccoli but that meal is like $35 for everything and then you have to tip the people so at home we're making it we're enjoying our time together you know and then we get to sit down and have this meal together and it's 20 bucks you know you can't beat that 20 bucks that's a really good deal for for trying something that's super delicious and and it's quality products. Um, another thing is, another pro is they're making you have healthier choices and a better balanced meal. So for example, if you um, watch the Cheddar Frico cheeseburger recipe, so they're giving you, they're having you put in tomato and onion in your burger, and then in, on the side is roasted broccoli instead of french fries. 
So that's not something I would usually do and that's a pretty balanced meal. So I think that's pretty awesome because usually I'd be like, I need a burger, I need fries. And then some of the time I'm like, when am I gonna incorporate my vegetables? You know, yeah, I have tomato and onion on my burger, but that's not enough. So this is like a new thing that's pushing me to balance my meals better and have a healthier, healthier choices. So I really like that. Um, another thing is the portion size. I heard a lot from other people that the portion size was the portion size was super small, but for me, I think the portion size is good amount. Um, so for women, I can only speak for myself and more so to the point of women, but I think the portions for us is a good amount, perfect amount. Um, and then lastly, but of course not the least, is they're giving you super fresh ingredients. So everything I got, nothing was bad, nothing was nothing was wrong with any of the food that I got. It lasted the amount of time it needed to last and it was delicious. So that's uh, another pro. Okay, so since we're on the pro side, I just wanna share with you two of the meals that I really enjoyed that I would say are should be on the pro side. So um, the breakfast sandwich. The breakfast sandwich itself with the egg, the chorizo, the avocado, the brioche bun, the cheese, that itself was super delicious and I would say that's a pro. The other pro is the whole meal It's as a whole for the, um, the crispy cheddar frico cheeseburgers. So the, the burger was awesome. Everything that went on the burger was awesome. The roasted broccoli was awesome. It was such a great meal and I would, I'm for sure going to have this again. So I'm going to for sure keep these recipe cards. Okay, so now that we've discussed the pros, let's go ahead and talk about the cons. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So at times, the directions were unclear. So for example, when I was making the uh, potato onion hash, it didn't tell you, like it told you how much onion to put in, but when you're looking at the picture and everything, it looks like very little onion. So they wanted us to put a whole, like they give us one onion and they said to put, to use one onion. Well, that one onion would have been so much more onion than potato and be like an onion potato hash instead of potato onion hash and so for us we ended up putting less onion and that was still a lot of onion so I think sometimes with the directions even if they're unclear and you're unsure you kind of just need to use your best judgment and think about what you would want so for me there were times when I just added in garlic salt because I wanted to do it um, and then there were times where we added less onion like we did because we didn't want too much onion. So that's one of the things, the directions can sometimes be unclear. And if you're like me and you like to follow directions like perfectly, then this is gonna be difficult for you sometimes because I wanted to follow directions because this is what it's telling me to do. But then on the other hand, I didn't wanna follow the directions perfectly because I didn't want it to end up being something that I didn't wanna eat because in the long run, if they're telling me to do this and then I'm doing it and then I don't like the food because there's too much onion, then what was the point, you know? Because the whole point is for me to enjoy a meal. So sometimes you have to use your best discretion when you're cooking. Um, another thing is that for like my boyfriend, some of the portions were kind of small for him. Like I think he was okay with eating what he ate and then not needing more. But if there was like an extra breakfast sandwich, an extra burger, he would have ate it so um, for I think for some like men's appetites this these portions might be slightly small but I think if you're trying to do well on on eating a certain portion and not go over like calorie intake or something this might be a good option for you so portion size for some people this may be small um, another con is that when they delivered my box they just left it at my front door and I, they didn't have me sign for it. So I know it's UPS that delivered this. And I understand that that's not like what UPS may do. Like they might just drop it off and leave and that's what they do. But um, for me, I live in a gated apartment community, but you know, anyone that lives here could just take my box, you know? And I don't know what would happen if they took my box and then do I tell HelloFresh and they're gonna deliver me another box for free or what? And then if I'm at work and they, de they delivered this um, during the week, at noon so usually when I'm at work I don't come home till 
after 3 30 4 5 6 6 o'clock sometimes you know so what's gonna happen with my food like I know it's not gonna go bad because they they package it super well but I don't want someone to just take it so that just made me a little nervous um, but you know I don't know a way to get around that unless I get it delivered to my aunt's house but then the convenience of having it delivered to my front doorstep is gone so that's one thing to think about um, and then another con was sometimes the recipes they like are super different from what you're maybe used to and then you don't really end up liking the meal so for example that was the perfect penne bake so with this it looked delicious but it did seem like something way different than something I usually ever have. Like I've had breakfast sandwiches, I've had cheeseburgers before, so that's probably why I enjoyed those meals a lot more. But with this one, the it, overall, it, like the flavor was good, but I just didn't enjoy the meal and I didn't want to eat it. And luckily I was able to give it to my cousin because she took the leftovers that I didn't end up eating, but you know, like, what am I gonna do with that after you, you know, that's like, a, if I paid for this, meals delivery service like full price it would have been twenty dollars down the drain and that's a lot of money for you know a meal so <clears throat> that made me disappointed um, and then uh, another thing is if this isn't your first time ordering HelloFresh like this was my first time so for the three meals it was only 20 bucks which is a super great price three meals 20 bucks that's less than seven dollars for each meal so that's really awesome price but then regularly it's going to be $60 for three meals, $20 each meal. So $20 each meal, when I told you about the pro sign, comparing it to going out to eat, it's a good deal. But comparing it to just eating at home all the time, it's expensive. So if you're used to eating at home, you're really awesome with your recipes already, you know, then this is going to be expensive for you. This is going to be a luxury having your meals delivered and everything because they're coming they're giving you the food they're doing your grocery shopping they're delivering it they're not paying you to deliver it so all that stuff is part of the price and it's it's expensive so um, and then also I did say that you know there's minimal food waste when I got to the pro side but now here at the con side there can be food waste so for example the perfect penny pasta I didn't like it I didn't want to eat it so if I luckily had my cousin take it but if not then I would have threw that all out that's food waste um, there was too much onion that I didn't really need and if I don't use it in the future that's gonna be food waste um, the potato hash we didn't finish it so that's gonna be food waste um, so you gotta just be aware that sometimes even though it says there's gonna be no food waste or minimal food waste, there sometimes still is going to be food waste, so you gotta think about it that way. Um, so I'm trying to think if there was any other things for the pros and cons side. Um, I think I forgot to tell you that for the pro side, like how it's packaged, like really secure with the ice packs and everything is really awesome, but I'm pretty sure you would know that already, so I didn't really add that on the pro side. Um, but I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So I think that's pretty much all my pros and cons for HelloFresh. Now I'm going to let you know, will I or will I not be purchasing HelloFresh? So my answer is I will be repurchasing HelloFresh. So um, the pros outweigh the cons, so I'm going to repurchase HelloFresh. But I'm not going to be repurchasing it every week. So it's a weekly delivery service and I'm not going to repurchase it every week. I was thinking with my, how much money I make and everything, I'll probably repurchase it about maybe every two weeks. Um, and then depending on the recipes, if it's something I don't like for that week, then I might just skip it and then do it every three weeks or something. So I'm gonna play it by year and I will repurchase it, but it's not gonna be every week. For me, that would be too expensive to repurchase every week. So I'd rather not do that. So. If you enjoyed the pros and cons and you kind of are similar to me and you want to try HelloFresh, you can always try it, put the weeks on hold and then see if you really like it and then keep it. If not, you can just cancel your membership. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you if you are thinking about getting HelloFresh and um, let me know below in the comment section if you've tried HelloFresh or another delivery service and you know a really good recipe, let me know that because I'm always looking for delicious recipes. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.